clam bakes are a New England tradition. For generations, clams, lobsters, and corn were cooked over hot rocks below beach sand. It was an all-day project. So what my grandfather figured is, how can we make this simpler? Steve Woodman says his grandfather, Chubby, founder of Woodman's of Essex, innovated a faster cooking method in 1923 that does not require a beach. Using a wood fire and making some metal grates so you could put these pots on top of it, in an hour, he could have the whole clam bake cooked. And his tagline there was, we come to you and cook, because you didn't have to go to the beach anymore. These days, nearly a century later, they use propane. And while the clam bake is a standard summer tradition, the gathering continues to evolve. You can get a clam bake kit for two, four, six, eight, whatever you want, and we'll ship it to you. The Woodman say this part is easy. Steamers only require a quarter cup of water to cook. Adjust the temperature between low and high heat until the clam shells are completely open. The clam should be ready in about 10 minutes. For lobsters, fill a pot two thirds full of water with a quarter cup of salt. Keep the heat high and place the lobsters in the pot. A one and a half pound lobster should take about 10 minutes to boil. The tricky part, the cracking. I enlisted Dud Woodman's expertise. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll start with the claw and just hit it, crack it, and we'll do the knuckles next. And then we split the tail right down the middle. So people don't need a neck cracker to open them up. They can just take the lobster and just take the meat right out and you're all set. All right, let me give this a go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> My first lobster of the season. Mm. So good. Cracking the lobsters proved to be easier than I anticipated. Eating the steamers, on the other hand, was an unexpected challenge, even with the help of Chubby Woodman's granddaughters, Sin and Patty. What is the correct way to do this? Well, our way, which we believe is correct, <laughs> break off one part of the shell and take the clam right out of the other side. Mm -hmm. This part is the jacket, which yep. you don't want to eat. We don't want to eat. And that slips right off. Did I take it off wrong? <laughs> I did. I, I messed up. <laughs> Start again. No? no? I'm sorry, Mommy. Watch this. I should know better. <laughs> They're trying to be too neat. There, that right? That's right. Yay! OK, we dump it in the bra. Mm -hmm. Really wash it off nice. Wash it off nicely. And then in the butter. Mmm. Delish. Mm. Nothing says summer like a backyard burger. Tambo Barrow, owner of Dorchester's Bread Gourmet, says home chefs can take basic burgers up a notch, starting with the grill. I really like the charcoal. It gives me like the, the outdoor feel, you know what I mean? You know, when you go outside and you smell barbecue in the air, that's the charcoal. Barrow uses a grill with a chimney and lighter fluid for a quicker and easier ignition. It'll take roughly 10 minutes for flames to build under the briquettes. Once you see them, pour the charcoal into the grill, cover with the grate, and wait for it to heat up. If I keep my hand there, it's not hot enough. Barrow is primarily a self-taught chef. Before opening bread in 2015, he worked in the insurance industry for several years and taught himself how to grill while working from home. He says his whole family tests his culinary creations. So I've watched my father and my mother cook for my whole life. As the grate heats up, season the burgers. Barrow says the family secret, spice, spice, spice. We're Caribbean, so we put some real seasonings on the burgers. Garlic, paprika, uh, a little adobo, onion powder. We want some flavor. Time to grill. Make sure we got a nice sear on one side. Let's take a look at it, and then we just flip it over. I want to throw our cheese on. I got a couple different ones. We use American. We got a habanero pepper jack, which is my favorite. And then the cheesiest one is the cheddar. I always want to put butter on our buns. It gives a little bit of a crunch and a lot of flavor. I want to get a nice golden toast. It's those little details that give it that, that restaurant feel. 
Okay, looks yes. great. Yes. <laughs> and a pro tip from Tambo. He says, throw some smoked bacon oh. on the grill while you're cooking your burgers, so that will enhance the flavor of the burgers, because of course bacon is bacon. Oh, it looks so good. All <laughs> right, and back to Woodman's. They now offer in their do-it-yourself kits, the fried clams <laughs> and the chowda, and both Bread Gourmet and Woodman's also offers catering services.